Hello everyone, how's it going? This is Paul from Flutter Ferry. Today we'll be talking about the teaming part of our food delivery app. So um, here you can see that the designer has put in some work to get the teaming done right in the app. And as you can see, um, most of the things are all um, clean and good because of good teaming and we are going to bring that to our Flutter app. And one of the things that you notice here is the font. We have two different fonts here as the Open Sands and the Arima here. And also we have colors, different colors for this and all of this we are going to bring it to our Flutter app. So whenever we are uh, making this app, we don't always create those things over and over again. Um, so I'm going to extract the font here and also get the colors and also get the um, sizes and padding of this. I know about it already. It's going to be 28 and the element size are going to, we are going to um, divide that by 2, um, 28 by 2 and get the element size. And let's go here. We are going to add our assets and we have added some fonts here. Um, is on this project. You can go to GitHub. Um, here and fork this project to your repository and also start it and also if you're not a subscriber to the channel i'd like you to do that so you always get um updated with the latest content um so let's go to our prospect.tml and as you can see we have added all those fonts here and here in our prospect.tml we want to configure that and you can see we have I've added the assets icon added the assets um, of image and this is it the icons and as well image images so the next is going to be is going to be for the font we are going to add the open sans as the family here and we are going to add the font and this font is going to take the um the parts to the fonts we have here the fonts we have here and this is going to be the regular and we are going to set that to 400 and we are going to have the open sans medium and we are going to set that to 500 and the open sans semi bold set that to 600 as well the bold set that to 700 so we have the other font which is going to be called arima and we are going to have this and the assets here specified it to regular and we we'll have the same thing as everything that is here so but what we'll do we'll just change the name here and as you can see we have everything set up on our prospect.tml so what next we are going to do here um what next we are going to do and as you can see this project here you can see that we have changed the branch to um, teaming so if you have not done that um you can do that so you can just do git branch call it teaming and when you click on enter it's going to create that branch and if you do git checkout check out teaming is going to um, take you to that branch so that's what we are doing here and the next is going to be in our lib folder on our lib folder we are going to go to teams folder and i have created a file here called app team and in here i have imported material um, dot that package here and we can use that so we're going to create a new team class called app team and we are going to create some spaces so these spaces can be the padding can be element space and different spaces that we have in our app the first is going to be the card padding which is 28 and the second is going to be the elements um spacing and we'll divide that element spacing by two and using this method to get the division of two and as well we'll get the bottom navigation bar which is going to be you're seeing on the design here as this the height of this um we are going to get that as 24 get the duration animation duration of our app and we set that to 300 the reason for this is going to be whenever and uh, wherever in our app we are going to have a a constant duration we are not going to have different duration maybe 800 400 and, and the rest and the beauty of um having our app team here is we are going to control the whole team of our app using just this class so that's the beauty of having an app team and where you can control your team on your flutter project and here we have our card radius and we we'll set that to border radius circular 14 and wherever we have um card radius we want to add some radius in our app places like um places 
like this where we have this card and with this border radius we are going to use something like this the card radius here and the next is going to be icon size and we are using the card padding as the icon size we can tweak through that and have a per perfect icon size and i got in a size here and um, a method called size and this method takes in build context and return a media query of size so whenever we call this and call the size we always get a uh, media query size and we are going to put in the colors and those colors are going to come from um going to come from here so first we are going to have the black color which is what you've seen here and we get the black get the white color you can see all these are the color code and this is the orange you get the white color which is this we get the red which is what you're seeing here um what you're seeing here the red here and we'll get the purple color we get the dark blue this is what you're seeing the purple and the dark blue and we're going to get the gray and also um we're going to get the theme now we're going to create a text theme now the text theme is going to contain this um and font styles so the font style is going to be based on this hierarchy which we have here from bold to medium from medium to regular from regular to light so this is how we are going to specify it and on our footer projects and as you can see in the project in the design here you can see most of this is based on that hierarchy you can see smaller text you can see light text and everything so we are going to get um, the text theme here and we are going to add this as a const constant and one of the things that you need to learn from um this app team class is that most variables are all constant that means um during the runtime it won't change and um, during comply time that's when it will be created and it won't change um so and we have a new headline here in our text team and this headline i have also noticed that most of the um headlines here on our project is the other font called arima so um you can see here we are we have the open sand so and when it comes to the headings is also is always the other font so i have put in the other font to be the headline one and as well the headline two and specify the font size the latest spacing the color and as well the font width so all of this is going to control the headline so whenever we call i'm um, something like team dot of context dot text team dot headline we are going to always get this pre um, pre built you understand so um and the next is going to be the headline too and we are going to decrease that and have all of these configurations to that and this is going to be the headline three same font family and also we are going to add the font size as this and the letter sizing as zero letter spacing as zero and the color we are going to set it to white as well the font width and the headline four we are going to use the same method but we are going to decrease that 20 and do the same for headline five as well do the same for headline six and from headline five we are going to use a different font size called open signs and from here we have um configured the, the font size and the letter spacing and as you can see here also we have the open sans here of the open sans and for the subtitle one subtitle two we have it and all of this has their font width so we are specifying those widths so we can use that and the body text one we are going to use this and body text two body text okay we don't have body text three we have the caption and we have and specified for the caption which we decrease it to 10 and later spacing to this and we have the button so wherever we have button we just call this style and we'll get um the button and we have overlined for smaller text and we have put in place the team data now the team data we are going to um configure it whenever our app starts we are going to Add that to our material app and it's going to control the entire app that's what the team data here will do for us and we have called the team data here and we we'll call the background color now the background color is um, um like the scaffold color so we have it to black and as you can see 
that most of our colors here is the background color set to black and we'll have the scaffold color we'll have the primary color set to red and the end color set to white and the indicator color set to red the radio team so we might have some radio button and we would like to set that and the fill color is going to be red and the splash radius is going to be 24 so we have icon team set to gray and most of our icons in the project are gray out and the splash color we we'll use red and an opacity of um, 0.4 and we have the input decoration now the input decoration is the input here and we are defaultly going to set the fill color to black and set it to field of true so this every time we create a text field we are going to get a black color text field because that's what um in our project that's what we always have in our design so the border radius is set to card border radius we can always tweak that when we want and the primary icon color is set to white the visual density we have set it to adaptive platform density a selected widget color set to white the text theme which is the real deal we have set the text theme here which is what we have all defined here so we can use that next is the text selection theme so the cursor color we are going to set it to red so whenever we have cursor on our text um on our text here our text field here is always going to be red so i'll save that and i'll go to the main dot that and i'll create in our um, import our material um, dot that here and also import the team and um, folder the team file here from this and and as well create a uh, entry point called main which is going to run our flutter application and also i'll use the run app here which is going to um call the widgets and the stateful widget which we are going to um, define here we are going to create here and run that widget and here we have created the food footer app and this is going to be a stateless widget that has build build method and we are going to return a material app and here we have specified the team which is the app team we go to the app team here and specify the team here so we don't always have to come here and maybe do something like team and team data and everything and start configuring everything here in the um, state less widget so the next is going to be the home and here we are going to create the home and it's going to be a stateless widget and as well have a build method here that returns a scaffold and as well a app bar as well and in this app bar we we'll have a text and in this text we we'll call this footer and the style here we are going to use the theme dot of context now what this does it will go to this context and move into this material app and whatever theme that we have specified in this material app is going to get that because here we have specified the headline for text team which is in our um, app team here and as you can see that the headline one we have specified it on text team and whenever we call um, this is going to go into our app team here and get this value so for us not to always do this um not to always do this the style we do we do this for the style and um, color dot orange we always do this for every time we want but we can just write just that simple line of code and everything works fine and go back and we'll run this app and see let's run this so while running i got this um error um you can see here unable to locate the asset entry in popspec.tml so you can see we specified um a font name called semi bold here from the arima font and here in the font list which we have we don't have that font so we are going to remove that um i'm going to remove this semi bold and remove the width i'm going to run this now and i believe this is going to work as you can see yeah everything is running here you can see that the app is running and here is the font um, for headline one so um yeah this is going to be um the end part of this 
and yeah on the next video we'll be talking about and um, building some components uh, for our app like the scaffold um some some of the scaffold the buttons and the rest so um see you next time